guys i know it's been a while since i posted a video like this because i remember i did one like uh two years ago and i deleted i don't know why i deleted them but yeah let's have this so today i'm doing a get to know me like basically what i'll be up to this year like get to interact with you guys through questions yeah and we'll be giving you answers so let's start with my name i am authentic i know I'm authentic i know authentic i know I'm authentic i know I'm. yeah like that so that's what i'll be calling myself and uh, i think i'm going to shift my content from makeup to i think i'll be doing a bit of more vlogs 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 because i'm planning to go out out to handle some stuff maybe get something to do and i'll be taking you guys with me yeah so a bit of my education i just finished my campus like a while ago but i haven't graduated yet i'll be graduating this year so yeah and right now i moved like fully home nico home haha <laughs> i am at home like fully full time i am at home yeah and i've been trying to grow my my social media my social media platforms because that's part of the things that i'll be doing in the coming future like i wanted to be part of my career yeah that's a little about me mm -hmm. so let's start with the questions questions with a q and a we'll do a q and a this is easy questions um what do you do for fun i do makeup and tiktoks for fun <laughs> what are your hobbies um i love listening to music um i also love movies i love um i love eating eating is a hobby yeah i love i love eating watermelon specifically i love eating watermelon so so much yeah so that's part of my hobbies i don't have a lot of hobbies or maybe traveling but i don't have money to travel what is something that you're really passionate about i'm so passionate about my career i'm so passionate about my career i feel like um let me not say time but um i feel like everything is being delayed like i don't know and i really want to do a lot of things but the thing is capital the thing is capital but we'll get it we'll get it yeah so i'm very passionate about my careers and about everything that i do i'm very passionate about all of them even when i do something like my makeup i always try to be on point because that's the point <laughs> what is something you could spend hours doing tiktoks <laughs> I will spend hours and hours and hours doing TikTok. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What is something you wish you did more often? I wish I did this YouTube videos more often. Like I really want, I really want, but there is something specific that I want and uh, something, something along the way, like the hoops. I don't get to do the video so i hope to get to a place that um i'm flexible enough with all the resources like nothing is stopping me i'll be doing videos every day day cash or cash up like that mm -hmm. if you have if you had to watch a documentary what would you want it to be about if you had to watch a documentary what would you want it to be about um i love crime stories murder cases <laughs> investigative even for movies i love investigative movies 
movies or series yeah something like almost paradise um something like um uh, clickbait like something around them i find it interesting i have to pause and get some water baby yay i got my water so <laughs> i just remembered uh yesterday i was in um our girl's uh live ig live she's called chinese kiki and uh, guy see my demo na pitia kuinja mam na pitia jeez like a lot of things are happening that nobody is talking about i wish you guys can join there you'll hear a lot of a lot of pretty weird stories that you don't even like you never heard the stories are crazy crazy but touching crazy but touching yeah so you can check her out let's continue uh -huh. what do you want to be doing in five years in five years um in five years i want I want to I want to be owning something to be owning something yeah wealth uh, how would oh no what family traditions were important to you Christmas oh, oh, oh Christmas until today Christmas is very important fast <laughs> like they were so fun i'll post a picture for you guys did you have any childhood pets nope nope i didn't have any pets because simply because i didn't know what a pet was i even didn't know how to pet i never saw anyone with a pet I'm from Kitale, that's why. Where did you grow up? I grew up in the village called Cap Situate. No, I didn't. Wait, what did I say? I grew up. Yeah, I grew up in a village called Cap Situate. I've been raised there all my life until today. Uh huh. Ooh. What was your favorite? childhood possession nothing what challenges did you experience when you were young i got bullied oh my god my childhood like the whole of our childhood we were bullied we were bullied by especially our schoolmates oh like kids are just another thing like i remember i used to be bullied because <clears throat> because okay most of my classmates used to do their hair like they were plated then i used to shave number one <clears throat> number two we were not that wealthy 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 my parents were still struggling like very much and these kids used to bully they used to bully the fuck out of us like that thing mm -mm. i've not forgiven them and hey <laughs> they even used to bully us because we wouldn't afford to like change uniforms like literally today tomorrow like that and uh, mind you so me and my sister we used to study in the same school and uh, for her she she never she never used to like fight back but for me even when i was small somebody will tell me something and i look at them like this and i'm well when mbona unachukua ndo ya sister yangu mbona unafanya hivi like my sister is so polite she never used to talk back but mm. i was in baby nilingia nilingia 
boarding nikikuwa baby class and uh, hey, me kuna mtu alikuwa ananiambia shit watu walikuwa na nibuli but ilifika points nikachoka na nini hmm. Hmm. then <laughs> Then I remember I remember I remember my dad had this car. <laughs> my dad had this car everybody used to know like when he's coming for us or when he's somebody when he's sending somebody to take us. And uh, yeah. Some memories are just funny. Okay, but they're just memories anyway. We were kids. Uh-huh. How do you feel about travel? I love traveling. I love everything about traveling. Especially with traveling alone, I really want to do that. What do you always have on in the background? I always have some music. Music, I la music. Mm -hmm. uh, what is a guilty? What is a guilty pleasure you enjoy? <laughs> what is a guilty pleasure you enjoy? I really enjoy drinking. As much as it fucks me up, I swear I just love drinking. I don't know how I don't know if I'll ever stop drinking as in I love drinking. I love how drinks make you feel like ooh I love drinking. How have your interests changed? First, let's get this. Um, uh, with, uh, with love, my interest is at zero. I don't think I'd ever want to do that shit again. And um, mm -hmm, with men, zero. With Like literally, I'm so turned off. Like, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm trying to get my own space or something like that because my interest with love and my sexual life is at zero right now. Zero. Like, literally nothing, like, almost nothing turns me on. Nothing that nobody does, does or says. Yeah, that's why my inbox is kind of closed. I don't have a WhatsApp. Um, what else? I get bored replying to DMs. <sighs> like, it sucks. But my interest with my career, 10 times. Up. With my YouTube, up. With my... With uh, building the relationship with my parents right now, it's up. Like such is up but with love maybe because it it has fucked me up it has fucked me up yeah that's why maybe our next question mm -hmm. what made you what made you get into your field of work i do not how did you end up at your current job i don't have a job uh-huh. What is something about your work that you find stressful? Oh my god. Uh what I find stressful? Finding time. Finding time. Finding time. Finding time. Yeah, that's something that <clears throat> that I found very stressful. What is one of your strengths? Um not giving up and not listening to Kelele Zachura. I never do that. So I think that's that's one of my biggest strengths. And I also have a good heart. <laughs> I have a good heart, I believe so. I think I have a good heart. Yeah. How comfortable are you how comfortable are you sharing what you believe in? Um, how comfortable? Like I can say, uh, in a scale of, in a scale of ten, maybe two. Maybe two, cause personally, even when I believe in something and I want to try, 
it's very difficult for me to ask to share it with somebody so that i can ask them if they can help me do it i can say uh three three or two three or two I barely share what is on my mind as much as I talk much. Mm -mm. I don't say what is in in my head like I can be telling you something different and in my mind I have already decided something else. Yeah. What makes you most angry? Mm. What makes me is waking up, waking up like every day, waking up every day and uh, I'm just here every day. I spend like 85% uh, of my time in my bedroom and it sucks. It makes me angry. I feel like I should be doing something else, but at the same time, I am here. Mm, I haven't gotten a job yet or something to do. It sucks. Yeah. What what in your life has inspired your beliefs the most? Freedom. Especially financial freedom. Like I read from people's stories and I really want like i really want to make it so that i can really prove myself that you can do what you've been thinking yeah something like that mm -hmm. how often do you question your viewpoints how how often how often literally um a while ago i used to question like every everything i said everything i did because they were questionable most of them are not pretty normal pretty normal like right now yeah so right now i i don't question myself because i let my soul like guide me when i want to do something i I let my what my conscience my con I let my conscience my conscience tell me if it's right or wrong. So that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. What drives you out of bed each morning? My mom's tea. Your China Kogatam. What goals do you have for yourself? Oh, uh, for my goals, what goals? For now, I just, I have a goal, by the way. I have, I want to visit some of my friends in town. Yeah, I want to visit them. They live in the street. And um, my target, my target, uh, I was targeting to visit them probably, probably the coming weekend. Yeah, and buy them chakula, chapodondo, chapodondo, sio wengi. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a compliment, what accomplishment do you, f what accomplishment do you feel most proud of? Honestly, what I have achieved is, that's self-love level. Si kwa ijipenda vile na jipenda saizi. I really love myself. I really love myself. I really love myself and I think it's a big accomplishment because it has enabled me like to stop doing a lot of stupid things that I used to do. Um self love has like I know I'm beautiful. I don't need I don't need somebody validating that. And um, I think it's a big, like for me, it's a big accomplishment because I can talk how I want right now. Um, I am able to tell my parents what I want, what I want, uh, because I talk with courage. Like if I want something, I just tell them, mom, I want Natakai, Natakai, Natakai. I never used to do that. And uh, 
that made me think like one and kazia but no so i'm so happy self love is like a gift but we are all gifted with that and it's from the inner from your inner self from your inner self so love yourself baby love yourself love yourself if you can love yourself love yourself if you're trying to impress someone like cut them off cut them off if they are following you following you on your instagram block them your whatsapp you can delete that shit then you'll have nobody to impress if you have nobody to impress then you can do what the fuck you want because you feel like nobody is watching e you get it you get it i hope you get it so that's what i i personally did me i deleted everyone from my life this year then first 31st i was traveling 31st at midnight i said a prayer to god and i was like i'm done with this shit i don't want somebody telling me like i'm posting a photo you're telling me oh you're beautiful but it's because you want to eat the ne the the thing the thing so may god's bored with that like people people don't love you genuinely and it sucks it sucks it sucks that's why i deleted everyone i deleted everyone and uh, i also have a problem with replying dms because i don't want to get attached with somebody or anything like that i don't want to get attached to anybody and i don't want to feel like i'm i'm obligated to look at that anyway because oh they like this or they yeah self-love I talked too much. <laughs> what is something that fills you with purpose? Purpose. Life. Life itself gives me purpose. Like even when I wake up and I have nothing to do. Mm, I will spread my bed like three times. I arrange my makeup like three times. I go outside, I pick leaves, something like that, as in life, as in I'm just trying to do something as much as I don't have something to do. Because I know I have a purpose, but we all have different timing. What do you want to accomplish before you die? Maybe build a hospital, hospital, something like that. A hospital. Uh huh. When have you <laughs> when have you felt the most lost in life? The whole of fucking last year. The whole of that year sucked. I was in Nairobi, I was at home until the year ended. The year sucked plus the years that passed it sucked it sucked a lot one day if i get if i get some courage i will share with you guys <laughs> jeez mm, i was so lost i was literally depressed i was feeling a bad about myself i didn't love myself i tried lot of ugly things what for what was an embarrassing moment you experienced an embarrassing moment uh let me share this with you guys today when i was in class class seven we were we were in class we were in class we were in class for um, evening preps around five six five six in the evening yeah and uh when i was entering the class there's this <laughs> there's this girl who pulled down my shot by mistake and i guess what day i wasn't wearing um any i wasn't wearing a panty so the whole class was laughing at me 
<laughs> I even remember telling her to remove her to remove her skirt so that we equal. <laughs> I was so fucking stupid. Oh my god. Ah, what what was the worst date you ever been on? The worst date that I've ever been on. So there's this guy who told me to meet in town when I was in school. Uh he told he told me to he told me to meet him in uh, No, he actually came to pick me up. From the place that I was staying, and we went to town. We were going to town for lunch. Yeah, we were going to town for lunch. Then uh, this guy, he kept on complaining about what I was wearing. Yeah, so he kept on complaining about. Um, so he was saying something about my my dress being so expulsive uh like you're asking me like why are you wearing heels like then okay yeah he was asking a lot of such weird questions then we we went we went we went to I don't even remember the name of the hotel so we got there and uh, this guy was a weirdo literally he's a weirdo we met okay <laughs> i didn't tell you this mm -mm -mm. we met we met we met we met at blend we met at blend 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 mombasa road so we met there then we, pl we planned we so that was like our first time meeting because I met him when I was pretty drunk. And um, as we were eating, this weird guy, <laughs> this weird guy, let's call him Derek. Um, uh, he asks me if um, if I have a if I have a boyfriend. And I tell him, no, I don't have a boyfriend. Then after that, uh, he asks me again, um, do you have, um, do you have, uh, <laughs> this is so fucking weird. He asks me like, do you have, a <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? And I tell him, no, I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have nothing like that. He asks again, and uh, do you have um um a self pleasure ma machine like you know those things? Let me call them that. I tell him no, fucking no. I don't have any of the fucking weird things you're asking for. And I ask him. I ask. I remember asking him like, why do you want to know about all that? And he tells me. Mm, you can call your boyfriend here and i'm like for what i call my boyfriend i told you i don't have a boyfriend i was almost speechless at that point like i was almost like just shutting down literally i was shutting down because i was like what does he want so i talked i talked to him and uh, i realized like he had a problem because he's uh he's bisexual or gay let me say something like that but he's not comfortable getting out there and getting whatever the fuck he wants if you get it so he wanted me to bring him a guy so that the guy can smash him not me so he wanted a guy for me telling me you can just bring whoever you're bringing blah 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 
then um i leave you 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 go home so i was like why didn't you even tell me like before blah 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 I was like, oh, you seem friendly. Oh, no, no, you are, you seem pretty interesting. Ga, 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 all that. I was like, you could have just said I would have hooked you up with my friend instead of you picking me up. And furthermore, you don't have to pay me because, because of something that you like and it's something that you can get. So... <laughs> Why can't people just let people live their own life? Like, if you don't love something, you can choose to either um, assume it instead of hating on it. Because if you hate it, it's giving you yourself stress. So, yeah. That was my weird date. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it was very bad. Very, very bad for me. Yeah. What is something that always makes you laugh? <laughs> oh, comedy. I love comedy. I love watching comedy. It makes me laugh a lot. When have you done something outlandish? I don't get that. Ask me that question. Uh -huh. What is the most adventurous thing that you have done? I swear swimming. I did it like we tried for the first time last year and it was epic like I never thought I would ever get in water in water I fear water or I feared water because right now mimi ni samaki mimi ni samaki so <laughs> that's the most adventurous thing that I've ever done how has your fashion sense changed over the years? Um, it has changed to better, better. We're getting to best very soon. Uh -huh. What is the most ridiculous thing you've ever purchased? Most ridiculous thing that I've ever purchased? Um, uh, uh. This but it has a lot of things. So this is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever bought. This thing here. It's like a photo frame. Yeah, and uh, like it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful and it looks ancient. And uh, it's actually steel. Like this thing can't break. It can't break. And it has a glass here and um, I tried fitting some of my photos here it didn't fit so I wrote myself a letter let me read for you guys dear self you're beautiful you guys smile because you're going to shine and glow in wealth money vacation trips peace self-love faith and work consistency guy <laughs> and then i love this later this is the first time i'm writing myself something and you know what it means guy self love najipenda najipenda and it's Wait, let me, I'll try to show you guys, it's, it's, it's the first thing that I see on my table. Yup. And we continue. Woo. Um, um, the remaining questions are about relationships and... I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. About relationships, love and shit. I don't give a fuck about that. So, so and parenting and that doesn't concern me for now. Yeah. So that was a little something about myself.
I hope you guys enjoyed. I know you did. Just admit it. You did enjoy. Admit it. I know you enjoyed. So, you guys, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed hanging out. And I will see you guys on my next video. Yeah, my next my next video. I don't know when that will be. But very, very soon. Very soon. Very soon. I'm planning to do maybe a vlog. Yeah, I'm planning to do a vlog next. So I'll be chilling until I drop that vlog. Yeah. Then I'll see you guys. I had missed you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Um, And build, build your self-love. Build. Build your self-love. Mm, yeah, learn to love yourself. Don't give up on yourself. Um, something else. Don't... Um, don't <laughs> don't rush things especially women let's not rush into love let's not rush into marriages and stuff like that it shall be well inshallah